right, today's the day that we're going to do the video that everybody's been waiting for. We're going to go drive it. Uh, I just got out of the shop. Um, she's still pretty cold. Well, it's, the temperature's up. It's 180, so the fans are running. But uh, uh, this is what it sounds like. It's got just a slight chop to it. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Um, just a slight chop to it. It's, it's a pretty smooth idle, uh, considering. But... Uh, yeah, so the weather is not cooperating great. I mean, it's beautiful outside as far as the sun and whatnot, but it's about 75% humidity and it's about 90 degrees. So uh, this thing sucks a little bit of the power out of it when it's like this, but uh, still fun to drive. So uh, I thought I'd do a little video today of uh, uh, just kind of what it's like driving it. Uh, nobody has been waiting for this, want to hear what it sounds like. So uh, let me do a quick walk around here real quick and uh, just show what it kind of sounds like and uh, we'll get on the road. never gets old. Alright, so let's get some uh, on-road driving here. I uh, hope this audio works out. We're going to find out here. I've got two sources recording at the same time, so we're going to try it here. Uh, basically, I just kind of wanted to show what it drives like, uh, what the manners are, kind of maybe talk a little bit about the build. Uh, just kind of, you know, just jibber-jabber and drive around. So, so that's the one-two shift. Uh, I still got to go back and have my... Uh, Transmission guy, soften that up a little bit. I haven't, it's clear across town. It's actually like an hour away from here. It's on the complete opposite side of town. Uh, I just need to drive over there. And I'm also going to have him look at my uh, lockup. I don't know if it's in the tune or if it's uh, in the uh, uh, the Transgo kit or what. But uh, it just sometimes under low load, low speed, it hammers the lockup. If you're in the highway speeds, it's fine. It just, it's nice and butter smooth. But uh, uh, around town, it hammers it down. So... Yeah, so I'll show that one two. See, that one two is pretty rough, and two three smooth. There was three four in lockup, so I kind of did it all in one combo. So I'm actually going to get uh, HP tuners uh, one of these days and just tinker with it, just for my driving style, because. My lockup, I think, is too low. I don't want it to lock up in third gear. I've, I've just noticed driving around town that I don't want it to lock up uh, in third. It just it doesn't need it for what I'm doing. So just tinker with that. Um, it's gonna hit. Oh, I didn't hit that time. The, uh, I don't have the rear C notch in here, so if you hit a good, big enough dip, the, the uh, rear end kisses the frame. So uh, I need to put that notch in there. But uh, as you can see, I'm cruising along 51 miles an hour or like 1,700 RPMs or so. And it's just, it's cruising. So uh, the exhaust is still fairly loud inside the cab. I don't have a ton of sound deadening in here. And the uh, it's dumped right before the rear axle. So it just resonates really bad. So I am this winter going to uh, extend that exhaust out uh, and tuck it out the uh, rear quarters right behind the rear wheels. So get that quiet down. But... This Magnaflow exhaust sounds great. Uh, wouldn't buy another one. I think I'd just buy the mufflers and make my own, but 
wouldn't buy again just because it's kind of a, a universal piece. It, uh, it's made to fit short beds and long beds and kind of anything else in between. So it's uh, uh, it's not that great. I mean, the fit and finish is so-so. But I got it on there. Uh, the one major thing I do not like about it is it hangs down below the frame rails, which in a lower truck, I haven't had any problems yet just because I'm cognizant of that. I've, I've had a lot of lower cars and I just pay attention to those things. But it hangs really low, so I'm gonna try to get, uh, see if I can't tuck it up into the uh, frame rails when I redo the uh, rear half of that. Um, you know, it's just there's a lot of fabricating, and I'll make a video on that when I do that. But you know, it sounds great. I love the way it sounds. I had a, a neighbor who's got a, an 800 horsepower uh, 383 and a Camaro, and he has the three inch magnet flows on his, and it just sounds good. They're, they're fairly quiet around town, but when you get on it, they just uncork and they are loud.
project before it snow snowballs out of control is this truck was originally a leaf spring truck. Uh, somebody had optioned the heavy duty springs on this thing, so it sat sky high in the back uh, and it rode miserable. Uh, I, over the course of the last six years, had removed soften it up and to uh, get the right rear end to come down a little bit but I ended up converting it to uh, coil springs and trailing arms uh, use all stock parts for that conversion and it's got a, a right tag street grip kit on it which is uh, their shocks and springs and bushings the whole nine so this thing actually drives extremely nice compared to what it, what it used to and right now I've actually got it cranked up got it, I was kind of trying to check it on <laughs> just testing it out in the you know kind of the SACA uh, parking lot style racing to see how it does uh, so I need to soften it back up a little bit but uh, the shocks are adjustable so um, brakes did wheel woods all the way around um, still kind of working out the kinks on them I've got all new brake lines I did the stainless brake lines from inline two so it has got uh, uh, you know, brand new everything so I think I still got some air in the system but they stopped the truck really well uh, no fade or anything like that uh, they don't have race pads or anything like that. They just kind of have their general uh, street strip pad in there right now. Um, what else? Oh, steering. You got a, a redhead steering box in this thing. It's a fast ratio. Uh, that thing's great. It makes parking lot driving a lot easier. You're not turning the wheel six times to turn a corner into a parking spot. So that's nice. Um, uh, anything? What else? Uh, all Moog uh, steering components. Uh, everything everything on this truck is brand new. So I mean it drives amazing. So it actually drives so well that I've got to fix some stuff Some rattles and, rattles and, and creaks in the truck that just need to be addressed because it, it rides so well I mean I drive this thing all the time now that it's done So it uh, uh, It's just it's been fun. I really enjoy it um, I can't, like I said I can't recommend this, uh, this swap enough Enough to 
to send that over to me and I put it on here and that fixed my problem. <laughs> in the process of fixing that problem though, I found another problem that uh, my alternator was dying. I don't know what the heck happened there. The uh, alternator just bought the farm and so I had to put a new alternator on it and now it runs like a champ. So there was for a, for a week or two there, I couldn't hardly even do a burnout. Uh, I mean, even really trying, trying to power break it and really try, it uh, uh, was having a heck of a time trying to do a burnout. And I thought, man, something's not right. So I don't know if it was the combination of the both or it was just the throttle body, but she's run like a chop now. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much about it. So I don't uh, want to ramble on too much here. I know it's probably been a pretty long video, but uh, uh, I'll go ahead and cut this one short. And uh, like always, I appreciate everybody watching. I, uh, you know, I thank you for all the subscribers. This morning, I think we had 912, which is just amazing to me that there are that many people that are interested in this. So, um, as always, like and subscribe if you'd like to. Please share it with your friends. Uh, we still do have a going uh, that uh, 1,000 subscriber uh, giveaway. Uh, I have a video. I'll put up a, a card up here too, or try to anyway. I don't know if it'll let me, YouTube will let me, but I'll put the card up here, or I'll put a link below for the video that the 1,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. So I've got two things that I'm giving away, a set of uh, uh, injectors, the six liter flex fuel injectors, the 51 pounders, and also a sticker pack. So uh, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go back to that video. So follow the instructions on that video and uh, put a comment in that video and I'm gonna pull a subscriber, or pull a, uh, a, uh, a name for that video there and somebody's gonna get uh, the injectors and somebody else is gonna get the stickers. So. Uh, so please share away. I'd like to get to a thousand. We are, I'm thinking probably about a month out from that. So uh, anything you guys can do, I'd love to share it uh, and just get more people involved. Uh, I'm having a blast with this. I'm getting ready to announce another project. So, um, but anyway, that's about it. So I hope everybody has a pretty good Labor Day.